Do you have difficulty remembering your times table? Well, don't worry, you're not alone. And this activity aims to show you a number of alternative methods for remembering your times tables that hopefully minimise the demands on your memory. For each of these videos, which has got all the times tables except the seven times table, it's probably the hardest, and once you know all the other times tables, you know your seven times table. So on each video, you just click play. So I'm going to write down the even screen. digits in reverse order, and I'm going to do that a second time. Then I'm going to write down the digits 0 to 9 and repeat. When you've finished, down in the bottom right here, you can exit full screen and come straight back to the main page. When you feel like you've mastered one of those skills, it's time for a test. So there's some pre-prepared tests here. If you click on that, the three and four times table is ready to go. But you're probably going to need a lot of practice. You've got 180 seconds in each of these tests or practice, six seconds per question. At the end, you can give yourself the mark out of 30, get a friend to mark it or your teacher and grade yourself and never forget no retreat no surrender if it goes badly you're going to want to create more so then you open the word document which is the times tables test generator we're going to use Control f throughout if at any time you need to pause this video do and we're going to replace all those z's with the eight times table because that's the one we want to have a go at or we might have wanted instead to have a go at the four times table replace all and automatically we've created a four times table test or practice and it's ready to go Control p to print it and off you go. Once you've done that you might want to generate some alternative tests or test yourself. If you want to test yourself go here to the times tables self checker. It opens up an excel file like this one. Same concept Control f replace all those hashtags with the times tables that you might want to check yourself on maybe the six this time. Replace all and that's ready to go. Six times tables 2 times 6, if I thought that was 11 and I was wrong, nothing's going to happen. It will stay the same colour. If I got it right, it turns green. So you can quickly see how much you remember or not. Once you've done that, you might want to generate some more tests, uh, but this time focused on every times table all mixed together because you're feeling a bit of a master. So mixed times tables spreadsheet opens up. Every time you press function F9, it will generate a whole new set of questions for you. One of the main aims of this activity is to give you infinite practice. And then control P and it's nicely formatted so that it's ready to go and generate some more tests for you to use. And then the last one, you might want to refocus just on some specific times tables that are really giving you problems. We've all had that experience. So on that last Excel file, it's a mix of the Z's and the random number generator. So I just function F9, I get a whole new set of times tables and control F to change all those Z's as we've done before or the hashtags to whatever we wish and then control P and that test is ready to print off again. All that's left to do is for you to learn the methods and have a go. Best of luck.